Ensa's protest that rocked the country uh, was getting out of hand and things were getting worse by day as the protesters continued to demand for total eradication of SARS operatives. Socks have joined protesters and they were, they were rock, wrecking havoc in the country. Lives are in danger and hoodlums are also agitating for this band of special police units called SARS. In that regard, there was a rumor that Bola Tinumbu, national chairman of all progressive congress, uh, escaped the country. And based on that, since the mobs are upset, one of the anonymous hackers on Twitter went ahead to post the address of his first daughter, Shadi Tinumbu. Tinumbu daughter is the head of market Iaoloja of Lagos State. She is a successful businesswoman. The anonymous hacker shared the post and captioned it, Shadi Tinumbu is the Iaoloja general of Lagos State. She is said to be the daughter of the Jagaban of Lagos. He also went ahead to reveal that Tinubu's daughter resides at Ulushola Ulude Bagada Phase 2 and charged protesters to storm the house. The address of Shade Tinubu posted online by anonymous hacker has left Nigerians to react and share their opinion on the matter. Some Nigerians who are not for violence urge protesters not to go and destroy her properties while others said they should storm her house. I don't know what you guys think. Of course, a lot of things have really been happening. And we're just getting to know that uh, even address and uh, uh, whatever has been has been shared by the anonymous. We've been hearing anonymous, anonymous, and and that's it. Someone says it's so painful that uh, the Yorubas are the problems of themselves. Since when they started this uh, hashtag answers, have you ever heard that one of the top one Igbo politician's house or property was burnt down? Have you ever heard that states' infrastructures such as bridge, government buses, seaports, airports, uh, palace, uh, VIO office, FRS office, and so on was burnt down. All in all the 36 states we have in Nigeria except Lagos only. Remember that Lagos is the most decent, beautiful, developed state among the other states. Well, have you ever asked yourself that why is it that a uh, it was only the Lagos, it was in Lagos State that they came to do the this thing. They were, they were this thing across the country. They were protests across the country. So why did they single out that place? That's the questions, you know, begging for answers. Someone said, hmm, tell which Igbo man or other tribes dictate the Tinumbu. Okay, tell which Igbo man or other tribes dictate the Tinumbu, the way the Tinumbu or Shumole uh, do. Tell me. Somebody is asking the person, person their question. Hmm, I'm serious. Well, they are telling this person that think before you talk. Uh, why mentioning Igbos? I don't know. Why mentioning them? When uh, the SARS people or the what is it called the army were uh, going after them, did you even talk about anything? Was it the Yoruba people that caused it? Of course, all this your divide. Uh, be uh, this uh, uh, this tactics is not even working. Hmm. Some say Okonu. If you did not know what to say, you better keep short. You say that again. Which language were the good guys speaking at the palace of Lagos, uh, uh, King, when they were ravaging the palace? Was it not Yoruba? I don't know. Yoruba, be wise. Don't allow yourself to be used by any politician or by any means to destroy your own people and land. Just take a look at all other state men in Nigeria, most especially from the north. Their family members are fixed somewhere, even in abroad, enjoying themselves. Not to talk of this woman having her own business. She's not a politician. You must be wise if the enemies are deceiving you. I think you should not deceive yourself. Mm. So say it is normal. There's no tribe in Nigeria that hates each other like the Yoruba. Envy, jealous, and hatred is their stock in trade. That is why. Uh, most most of them who live outside Yoruba land don't like going home. Mm -hmm. Really? Of course, everybody with his own way of, uh, you know, seeing things. See, we see things in a different perspective. And believe you me, we have a lot of good people. <laughs> a lot of good people across across the country, across the world. You see, you know, by the time you meet good people, you know, from the north, you'll be amazed. <laughs> when you meet people... From the from the southwest, the Yorubas, very 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 good people, very very good people, and the same thing, 
to Igbos. So in, to me, I don't just believe the narratives that we just say. Uh, you just make a categorical statement that say, oh, this person is bad. Says who? Just like the way they always talk about say, Nigeria. Oh, they see Nigeria, you know, from outside, uh, from outside the country, as a, you know, people with a dubious mind, which is not true. We have a millions, very, very large numbers of Nigerians that are doing tr tremendous work, that are doing uh, good things. You can't even just say, oh, this person is this, and just run with that. And that is why it's painful when people just stereotype of, oh, these people, Nigerians are this, Nigerians are that, which is very, very wrong, which is very, very wrong. You can't say, just take a few numbers of people who are into, uh, into uh, uh, bad uh, bad things or doing bad things, then you say, oh, everybody's like that. No, it's not really like that. So just, that's why I said, you know, people see things from a different perspective. We have good people from the Igbo people, from the all, all tribes, especially the Yoruba. So you don't just say that. It depends on the kind of person you meet and you just like run away with it that this is how they behave. Well, so they should go and kill her. Some wolves are among us trying to set us against one another. Yorubas wake up. The enemies are out doorstep. At our doorstep. Please, please, please stop this madness. They were using Yoruba against themselves. Let us think they are other leaders that looted this country. Please be wise. Has Tinubu had any federal government in Nigeria or federal office in Nigeria or has he done governor in other states apart from Lagos when people from other extractions jealous of him for this reason he will be our president come 2023. So you are supporting the evil atrocity Tinubu has been doing. When God Almighty has is angry, he destroys all all as hab his demonic wife Jezebel and his entire household were destroyed completely. But Jesus Christ's crucifixion and resurrection brought mercy, grace, and compassion upon men of the world. Fine, whatever she is today is from the nation's wealth. If Nemesis couldn't catch up with the father, the children should be held accountable. Period. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Is it a crime to be a politician's son or daughter? What is her business in all this? After all, she is a business person, not a politics. It's sad that some people will descend so low as to think it is Jagaban that ordered the killing of innocent youth of Nigeria. The problem is because some people saw him as a threat to them in 2003 election, in 2023 election. But if God says to Jagaban ambition to be president of this country, no woman being can say no. We should all fear God. Hmm. Well, some people are always coming to defend uh, some politicians and nobody's defending the masses. See what the masses have been going through. See what they've been going through. Nobody's even trying to talk about those who were involved. They are saying it is good for them. Oh, it is a lie. It didn't just happen. Oh, they are just... Uh, framing the whole thing so guys let us hear your opinion leave your comment below and let us know your thoughts on this whole thing